Hello developers. In this new series, we are going to look at how to use SQL, or as it's more commonly called, SQL. What is SQL? Well, it's short for Structured Query Language. And what that means is it's just a simple way that we can communicate with a database. Now, how do we do that? That's what we're going to be talking about, how we're going to create databases, create tables, insert data into those tables, get data out of those tables, and so much more. So that's what this whole series is going to be based on. To do this, we're going to use two tools. We're going to use something called Heidi SQL, which is just a front end that's easy to use and easy to learn that allows us to communicate with the database using SQL. And it allows us to use a lot of different types of databases, but the one we're going to look at is MySQL. MySQL is an open source database. It has currently been purchased and owned by Oracle, but it is still available for free if you have the community version, which is great for students to learn on. Of course, there's other databases that you can use. Some of them are also free and Heidi SQL does support a lot of them. So you might want to look at that as well. We're going to stay with pretty standard SQL statements. Things that are not specific to something like Oracle or IBM DB2 or SQL Server or anything like that. We're going to try to keep it as standard as possible. That way you can take any of this knowledge and move to other databases. But you need to know that there's always little changes that different databases like to kind of put on their own database system. So keep that in mind. As far as what topics we're going to be covering, well, first off, we're going to cover how to get Heidi SQL and how to use that real quick. Then you can think of SQL being broken down into some sub languages. For example, DDL, which is your data definition language. DQL, which is your data query language. So how are we going to ask questions of the database? We're going to have things like DML, data manipulation, which is how we're going to do things like update and delete and change the data. We have DCL, data control language, and TCL, transaction control language. So we're going to look at all those different pieces, parts of the SQL language so that we know how to work with it. Now, this series is assuming you know certain things already. For example, we assume that you already know about ERDs or Entity Relationship Diagrams, and we'll show you an ERD, and then we'll show you how to create it in SQL. So we expect you to know the ERDs, and if you don't know about them, or if you need a quick refresher, we do have a video series. I'm going to put a link below so that you can look at that and get caught up on that. They're real easy. It doesn't take much time to learn ERDs at all. We're going to assume that you already know about different data types and general data types when it comes to programming. So you're going to know the difference between, for example, an integer and a string or a date and currency and different things like that. These are going to be very high level and you'll notice that databases are slightly different than other programming languages. So you'll see some similarities if you have experience in C or Java or even Python. But you'll also notice that there are some little differences. We will talk about those differences in the video series, so don't you worry about that. Next, we're going to assume that you already understand about normal forms. That is, is this a first normal form, a third normal form, etc. Typically, we're going to stick with third normal form. This is the most common that you're going to see in industry. And in fact, people just kind of go and create this way. They don't really even think about it. It's just automatic if you've ever worked with databases for an extended period of time. So we're not going to be focusing on that. We're going to assume that you already have that knowledge from a database class. Finally, and I've alluded to this before, I, you should expect and know that all databases, even when they follow the SQL standard, have their own unique add-ons that they put on. So we're going to try to stay as close to standard as we can. We will show you some unique things that are unique to MySQL, but we will point them out where we can and where it's remembered to. That way you know if you're using a different database and you can understand, hey, if I'm using some other database, Postgres, SQL Server, IBM DB2, et cetera, you can know, oh, I need to know, it probably has this functionality, I just need to know its unique name for it. 
I know this video series is going to be very helpful to you, especially if you're just learning databases. So please take a look for our next video, which is coming up on how to install and use Hybe SQL.